we're going to start off our poodle with a sausage shape just in the center and it goes diagonally from top left to bottom right so let's draw the sausage shape it's quite a tongue twister isn't it sausage shape anyway just draw it lightly in pencil there we go fantastic so this long sausage shape there okay now we're going to draw a circle this is going to be the tail so a big circle bottle like this there we go we're going to draw a bigger circle for the head so that's going to be round about here just like this i was looking up where poodles originated they actually originated in germany and Poodle comes from the German word, which means puddle, because they were great hunters and they used them to hunt ducks and things because they're fantastic swimmers. There you go. Random fact of the day. Okay, so that's the head. Now we're going to draw the ear. So starting just here, draw a line coming down, goes across and up like that. Okay, we're going to draw the muzzle area now. So just here. A line coming outwards, comes down and in. For the neck, we'll go out and join this long sausage shape. Okay, just going to draw in the little eye, which is going to be just here. Okay, it's starting to take shape. You can tell that's the head and that's the tail. Now for the legs. So the hind legs, one, another sausage shape coming down. Just comes down like this and round like that. There we go. And then the other hind leg comes round and inwards like so. And then for the front leg, it starts here, comes downwards and across and up. And don't forget, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. Take it at your own pace. There's no rush whatsoever. Okay, so there we have stage one. You can already tell that it looks like a dog. Okay, stage two. I'm actually going to do this in pen, but please, please carry on in pencil. I'm only doing it in pen so that you can see it on camera. It's a little bit tricky to see in pencil. So let's start off with the eye. Just leave a little bit of white so it looks like it's a little glint. We'll draw the little eyelid. There we go, just like that. Now, for all the fur, this amazing curly do, I'm just going to draw little curly lines like this, going all the way along the furry parts, which is most of the poodle's body. Another fun fact, the reason why they've got these um, incredible kind of, uh, I'd say, fur cuts, is because um, they're actually strategically shaven, because when they used to go and dive into the water to go and catch um, the ducks that they'd be hunting. Um, they'd want them not to have too much fur so that it would weigh them down, but they also wanted them to be warm enough when they went into the water. So that's why some areas are shaved and some areas aren't. Anyway, getting back to the drawing, let's just draw the top part of this ear, which comes down like this. So I'm going to be drawing longer lines here, little wiggly long lines like that. Lots of wiggly long legs, just at the bottom of the ear. There we go, lots of these wiggly lines. There we go, excellent. A few wiggly long lines at the top here. And then we're going to carry on with those little furry lines, the little curly ones, towards the top. Now we're going to do the muzzle area. So, here we go. Nice kind of pointed nose and then this goes into the mouth just like that and then the bottom lip and then comes in and round like that let's perfect the nose there we go and then I'm just going to draw a line just going upwards like that Okay, we're going to add some dots for the whiskers, just like that. 
Okay, now let's carry on with the neck. This part's not shaven. Oh, sorry, this part is shaven, so it comes nice, smooth area like this. Just like that. Then we're going to start off with all the curls again. So this curly kind of um, little tiny half circles we're doing. Comes all the way down, all the way down to the ground. And then we go round and then all the way up till we get to here. Okay, so that's the front leg. That wasn't too hard, was it? Okay, now we're going to draw the back. So this area is shaved a little bit more, so it's not quite as curly. We're going to get to the tail. The tail has, you can see a little part of the tail, and then it's all left to grow quite long on the top. So a poodle's fur never stops growing. That's why they have to be groomed so often. Let me know in the comment section below if you've got a poodle. I'd love to know and what it's called. They are very, very intelligent dogs. There we go. Okay, we are getting there. So carry on with these little furry lines all the way down, all the way down, all the way down the back of the leg until we reach the ground. So there's so much fur you can't actually see their feet, which is quite a good cheat for us. So lots of furry lines coming up, just like this to here. And you just go a little bit further up. Okay, now for the tummy. So, more little furry lines coming down. There we go. Okay, followed by another line just down here. We're going to draw the other front leg, just peeping out from behind. Now this one's going to stop just further up than this one. And the same with the back leg. So, just peeping out from behind. stopping further up. Okay, I'm now going to raise all the pencil markings. So I've raised all the pencil lines, let's get on with doing some more shadows. So to do the shadow, I'm just going to go and draw lots and lots of these curly lines in heavy density so that it just looks a lot darker. So particularly here underneath the tunnel, just here behind the back leg, uh, the front legs, beg your pardon. <laughs> The back of the front leg, I meant to be saying. There we go. And then towards the bottom of the front leg, here we go. Just like that. Here. And towards the bottom of this leg as well. There we go. Just underneath the tail here. And then underneath the chin. Just like that. Also underneath the ear, so make this quite a bit darker here. Got small wiggly lines going up. Just here and just the top of this part here. There we go and then we've forgotten to do the other ear so that one's just poking out you can just see a bit of it here. So doing those long wiggly lines again. There we go. And then we're going to draw some shadow underneath the poodle so that it doesn't look like it's just in the air. There we go. Show that it's walking on the ground. I'm just going to draw a little bit of shadow underneath here. go on and on but oh I'm just going to do a little bit there. Just a few more bits down here. Okay I'm going to stop myself now. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this one. Here's our finished poodle. If you have please hit subscribe and like and do check out all the other dogs in the series. 
Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.